Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 22 in PySpark playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about two important functions on data frames that are like distinct function and drop duplicates function. So basically, these two functions will help you when you want to get distinct rows actually. So this distinct function will actually work on all the columns. That means it will take all the columns into consideration and perform the distinct operation to get the distinct rows. Whereas drop duplicates again it will also take all the columns if you don't supply any column or you can supply list of columns on which you want to perform this distinct operation. Let me practically show you that and uh, how it actually works. So we have already opened our Databricks workspace here. Here let's go to workspace users under my name let me try to create a new notebook here so right click create new notebook and let me name this notebook as distinct okay distinct notebook so python is a default language and i have already selected my cluster there so let me close this pop up here if you have watched my python playlist you know how to create a data frame so if you don't if you haven't watched please watch all my previous videos in the pyspark playlist okay sorry not python playlist pyspark playlist so let's declare a variable called data here and in this variable let's add a list list of tuples so let's try to add three tuples that means three rows so maybe first row is id1 then name mahir then gender will be like male and then maybe salary 2000 okay then the second row id2 name wafa then gender again maybe male and salary 3000 maybe okay and then let's add the third row so id and name is asi and this time gender is female so let me use single quotes here and then salary maybe 3500 so what i did i added a list which contains three rows that means three tuples three tuples so here let's try to declare another variable called schema which is list of column names so we have id column we have name column and then we have a gender column finally we have a salary column so spark keyword will actually give you spark session object this we know from our previous videos so here let's try to use this create data frame function to create a data frame for this function let me supply my data and schema variables this entire code will create a data frame so let me store that data frame in a variable called df then finally let's try to use show function on top of my data frame and see our data frame in action here so let's wait for command to run here great command executed successfully and we can see our data frame also here so so far all good now we have all three diff distinct rows right so let me do the do this thing so for some reason if i have data frame something like this so let me zoom little bit for your understanding then so totally this time we have four rows now let me execute this by hitting shift enter and now if you see the data frame data we have id1 but this row these two rows are duplicate rows actually right so in this case i want to remove these duplicate rows and i want to get only distinct rows from this table or from this data frame so to do that what i can do I can use on top of my data frame df is my data frame right so on top of data frame there is something called a distinct function I can use it so before using that let's use a help function here to see the documentation of it let me hit shift enter to execute this code and if you see the, the example in the documentation it clearly says it will simply return the uh, distinct rows okay you can read this document also and this function will not take any argument so we cannot pass any parameter so what i can do on top of data frame i can use distinct function to get a distinct rows if i want to get a count then i can use a count function here but for now i want to use the show function because i want to see the data frame after applying the distinct function so previously data frame has totally four rows and this second and third row actually duplicates so now let me hit shift enter to execute this cell and now if you see the result if you see this below result now we have only three rows all these three rows are distinct rows so previously we had four rows one duplicate row that duplicate row got removed now this time so this is how distinct a function will work similar to this 
there is something called drop duplicates function as well so there is something called a drop duplicates function so even this function works the same way so if i hit shift enter even you will get the same result this time also but the only difference between this drop duplicates function is here you can pass list of your column names actually so for example when i use this drop duplicates directly it is removing this duplicate row and it is showing but what if on a given column only i want to see the distinct values from the gender column so how to do that so you cannot achieve that using the distinct function right because it will be applied on a all columns even the drop duplicates function will be applied on, on, on all columns if you don't supply any uh, uh, columns list so what you can do let me show you the documentation of the drop duplicates now first so if i use df dot drop duplicates and uh, on, in using a help function i will i can see the documentation of it and if you see it i can for this drop duplicates function i can pass list of column names on which i want to apply this removing duplicate duplicacy behavior so what i will be doing it here is so let me close this cell so this cell we just created it to run that help command so let me close this and now here to the drop duplicates so as i said i want to see the uh, distinct genders right so i will be see, passing that gender column name as a list here so i am supplying gender column so only on top of the gender column the duplicates drop duplicates behavior will be applied so here male column male is repeated three times so it will be removed only one male will come so that means only this row will come after that these two rows will not come and finally this row will come so let me hit shift enter to execute this code now and now if you see this execution output you can clearly see that we got only two rows why because we applied on a gender column for a duplicate so maybe i want to apply uh, to another column also to check the uh, to remove the duplicacy then you can do that so maybe you can apply like on top of salary also i want to apply so it will consider these two columns to drop the duplicates and get the distinct values so let me hit shift enter to execute this command as well okay so i hope you got an idea how this distinct and drop duplicate functions work now thank you for watching this video Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.